This is my homemade six inch louver press. I learned a few tricks from other YouTube videos. So I put this one together with basic machine shop tools and I have punched these louvers in automotive sheet metal. They come out real good. So I'll uh, go over a few of the details on this and what I might do differently and then we'll punch some, some more louvers. So it's, it's an aluminum base. These pins are just half inch bolts with the heads cut off to act as guide pins. And I cut out the profile in here. I broke these edges. It was kind of a learning curve. It was shearing right in the corner. So I've also put grease on when I punch them. That seems to help. So what I would do differently, this is mild steel that I hardened with a hardening compound. And it's held up pretty well, but you're not gonna be able to do a bunch with this. It will lose its edge. What I would do differently is have more meat right here. I was afraid this was gonna bow out, so I pinned it here and here, and then reinforced it, and then I got a shim in here to make sure it's in place. And then the punch part that comes down, we got a pretty good edge on here, also hardened. This is attached to this aluminum plate, which is separate from the main piece from the top, and then this screws into here, and everything's lined up on the guide pins. So this sits on here, it's a fairly tight fit. I've also put this on, this will locate it in the press, which I think is worth doing because then you're confident everything's square. And uh, I cut the steel, it's uh, eight inches, eight and a half inches wide, and it, it just locates in between the two pins. And then to start, I line up the sheet metal with right here, you could do it anywhere actually. And then what I learned from other videos is you punch your first louver here, then you move it forward and right in here, this locates on here. So it gives you about one and an eighth spacing between each louver, which seems to be uh, kind of the standard, the accepted standard, and it kind of looks right, the gap. So I went with it, I think it works. So now we're gonna go over to the press and punch a couple. One other thing I uh, forgot to mention that I would do differently. This is mild steel. It is 5 16 thick. That was also kind of like the extent, the accepted depth of a louver. Uh, you can get uh, tool steel in this dimension and that would be worth it if you uh, can work with it because it's obviously much tougher than the mild steel, even when it's hardened. So, but this still worked for a limited number. So. What I'm gonna do is use this to line up the depth on the back. So I spin it around. So now we're located. That first one's important because everyone else, every other one lines up off of that. So this, if you hadn't noticed, is your basic Harbor Freight hydraulic press. Here's where that locator comes in handy. And we'll see, uh, I'm missing half of this handle so the screwdriver helps, but doesn't take all of the 12 tons, about four cranks. You'll get a big pop. There we go. Then the rest of the way down to flatten everything. And we'll back it off. Open it up. And there's one. And we'll do a second one, showing how it indexes lining up like that. So it's back hard against that edge. And we'll do the second one.
ready for the pot. Flatten everything. There's the second one, indexed perfectly. <laughs> 